the world. Okay, so it's been a minute since I've done a horse video, and I really haven't done an updated video of the Ponderosa either. But anyway, um, I have got three horses now, and Stanley's hay, even though I love the Timothy, um, beautiful hay, uh, is nearly, well, it's 700 and something dollars after the feed store charges to deliver it and go get it and then the bales themselves so for 36 bales which i'm going through a bale a day at the moment is about 741 dollars a month so too expensive can't do that anymore um so i'm switching from stanley hay which this is a compressed bale, what you're looking at right now. And it weighs anywhere between, I'm going to say 35 to 50 pounds, depending on the bale. I've had some that were extremely light. So I wouldn't say every bale is 50 pounds. They're supposed to be, but I, I don't think they are. Okay, so now I have found a local hay place, and this is... Obviously, as most people know, this is a actual full-size bale that's not compressed. So, full-size bale, not compressed, Stanley Hay compressed bale. Timothy Bermuda. I've looked up the um, nutritional facts on Stanley, I mean, on uh, Timothy Hay and on Bermuda Hay, and they're almost identical. Uh, there's not really any difference. The fiber is a little higher in the Timothy but everything else, the protein, the selenium, the, uh, all the fancy stuff. I don't know. I can't remember them all. Anyway, calcium, all that fun stuff is it the same in Bermuda as it is in Timothy from everything that I have looked up. So I'm switching them over to Bermuda. This is my first load. Tonight will be their first feeding. It's really good. Hey, I don't have any problem with the way it looks and absolutely 100% weed free. Uh, they use an irrigation system so they don't have to use um, herbicides, which I was excited about. Okay, so here are my babies at the moment. I had to put them away while we brought the hay in. So they're in the pen, but I'm just gonna do a, a shot of them now. How they look. There's wonderful Dag. Hi Dag. So here's what Tag looks like, which it's spring and, well, almost spring. And they're shedding and, and everything else. So this is probably the worst time of the year to take a before and after picture when you're switching feet. But there's beautiful Dream. She's very, very pretty and very shiny. She's got good feet. I'm learning to trim them so if they look a little long in the toe or low in the heel, that's me, not their diet. All right, and so here is beautiful Fabio, my beautiful Palomino Colt, who will be gelded just as soon as he drops, but he has not dropped. But here is how he looks right now. Yes, Fabio. And then, of course, is Catalina. Beautiful, shy, sensitive Catalina. And she has a very healthy, shiny coat right now. So she looks very, very good. So... There's my babies. There's a good shot of Catalina. So, there's my babies. There's what they look like right now. And we'll see here in a couple of weeks how well they do um, on Bermuda hay. So, thank you guys for tuning in and listening to me jabber on. And I hope you enjoy my videos. And I'll do another video soon. We have a big move coming up, hopefully, between the end of April and the beginning of May. We will be moving out to the Ponderosa into the country. So I'm excited and hope all that goes well. So hopefully I'll have more videos for you coming up with the remodeling of the Ponderosa. Thank you, guys. Talk to y'all later. Bye.